Alrighty, we're back. So, full day of eating. You guys already saw my first meal. It's a full day of eating on a cut. Right, I'm cutting right now. I've been on the cut for a minute. And I wanna show you guys what I'm eating now because the diet that I'm on right now, um, I'm really enjoying it. It's a diet I'm probably gonna stick to. I might make like small adjustments with time, but overall, the diet that I'm using right now is what I'm probably gonna stick to until the end of the cut. I'm also doing a Q&A video, so this is gonna be a full full day of eating slash q and I'm gonna answer a couple questions that I that you guys asked on my Instagram. I posted a question box in my stories and you guys had a couple questions. And one of them is a pretty big question that I'm gonna answer in this video that I never really talked about. So yeah, so this is meal two. This is a hundred and this is 150 grams of rice and three whole eggs and then I put like 10 to 15 grams of soy sauce. Pretty decent meal, this is always my meal too. And then not my pre-workout, sometimes sometimes it is my pre-workout meal, but for the most part, most days, my meal three is my pre-workout and I'll show you guys what my meal three is. But yeah, so this is meal two. So I'm having five meals a day, right? So it's, my meals are gonna be pretty small. I'm also pretty low on calories, so those five meals are like small portions, which is the best way to go buy it. You know, if you're cutting, you wanna make sure you spread out your meals so you don't get as hungry. You know, so you try to eat every like three hours. Usually for me, I start getting hungry after three hours, so it's perfect. So, meal two macros, pretty simple. It's three grams of carbs, 20 grams of fat, and 64 grams of protein. That is not right. That's right? Oh, never mind. I accidentally put 150 grams of chicken instead of rice on the my fitness file. But yeah, so meal two macros, 45 grams of carbs, 15 grams of fat, and 22 grams of protein. I'll see you guys meal three, which will probably be in like three hours, two hours, and then after that I probably go to the gym. Today is pull. No, today's push, today's push. Okay, so meal three over here. We have 125 grams of rice, 30 grams of cheese, and 150 grams of chicken. The rice and chicken are cooked, and the cheese I just put it after I cook everything. And then that's my meal three, that'll be, that'll be my pre-workout meal. It's 2.40, so I'm probably gonna train at like three o'clock. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the macros for meal three. Meal three macros are 36 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fat and 59 grams of protein. Pretty decent meal. It's also about 528 calories. So I'm averaging about like probably 400 to 500 calories a meal. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer a question. I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer the rest uh, tonight, probably after I finish my meals or something, we'll see. But I'm gonna go ahead and just answer a question here for the Q&A. This guy said, best shoulder workout. So, Personally, um, I don't think there's a there's a specific like key um, shoulder workout that'll just help you just completely grow your shoulders like crazy. Um, it's really just how you train it. So like, I usually do a dumbbell ladder raise. I do a lot of dumbbell ladder raise. I do like two to three sets, um, like seven to like eight to twelve reps, and then I'll also do a front delt press. Usually I do that and a front delt press. So I usually do about five sets for shoulders. So just like a front delt press and then dumbbell ladder raise is usually my go-to. But do what you prefer, do what you enjoy doing. Just make sure, the key is just making sure that you know how to train till failure, that you know how to control your reps, not really using momentum. A little bit of momentum is fine. Me, I like to look like a robot when I do my exercise, at least most of them. Some I do use some momentum, but for the most part, I like to train really like textbook on my form. But it's up to you guys. But the main key I would just say is just knowing how to train to failure and knowing how to get comfortable with a lot of weight and knowing how to progress overload. If you're progressive overloading, you're obviously growing pretty much. So, all right, I'll see you guys at the gym. i
found a way Thought I found a way yeah. But you never go away So I guess I gotta stay now Oh, I hope someday So this is post-workout meal, this is meal four. It's pretty much the same meal as the last meal. My pre-workout meal, except I, I drink a, a cup of Coke, just a little bit of Coke Zero. So this is same exact macros, same everything. Meal four macros are 125 grams of rice, 150 grams of chicken, and 30 grams of cheese. It'll be 528 calories, 36 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fat, and 59 grams of protein. Same exact meal. So I do, I do two meals, two of the same meals every day. Yeah, and then I have one more meal that'll be in probably like three hours because it's pretty early at seven o'clock. So I'm gonna try to eat my last meal. I'm trying to wait as long as possible to eat my last meal so I don't sleep hungry. I'm gonna finish this meal up and then I'll start answering a couple questions from the Q&A. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and answer some questions from the Q&A. All right, and then someone here asked, how much protein should I consume for, mus for more muscle? Me personally, I do, I do a little over my body weight. A lot of people like to eat a whole lot, like a, like a crazy amount of protein. Like if someone weighs like 150, they'll probably eat like close to 300 or something. I, I personally don't like to do that. At least I'm pretty, my body's pretty sensitive when it comes to eating a lot of protein. I get, I get digestive issues, so. I like to, for example, I'm at like 180 right now, like low 180. 
I like to eat 200 grams of protein. That's perfect for me. Some can do higher, which is completely fine. But for me personally, I like to do 200. If I go a little bit higher, maybe like over 220, I can, I'll probably start farting all day. So I'd rather just stick to 200 and it's doing me pretty good. So it really just depends on how much, how much body or how much protein your body can take. So it just depends how you digest it and all that. But you want to go for over a gram per body weight. All right, and someone asked, how to bulk while staying relatively lean? It's a good question. Start as lean as possible. So a lot of people, for some reason, or I get, like, depending on where they're at, but for most people, I do think it's good to cut down before you bulk, especially if you're trying to take a really, if you're trying to do a really dedicated, like, long bulk, you know, actually a bulk that, that you'll stick to where you're eating a, like a lot of calories good macros good food you're eating clean and you're sticking to that for like over six months then i do think you should start relatively lean so anywhere under 12 percent body fat would be good because then it'll give you time to you'll probably for the next if you're eating clean you probably got two maybe three months without actually getting like super fluffy so um i think the key is to just start as lean as possible and in terms of the actual bulk, I think you should make sure you eat clean. A lot of people, they, I, had, I, I made this mistake too, but I think whatever you're eating for your cut to cut down, you should eat that same thing for the bulk, but just increase the calories. Because most people, I would think that they would eat pretty clean for a cut, do the same thing for a bulk. There's no reason why you shouldn't. I guess you, you can throw in you know, some, some, something more enjoyable, but overall, the overall diet should be clean. And that's, that'll help you to prevent gaining any excessive fat, any unnecessary fat. So just start pretty lean, start your bowl pretty lean, and make, make sure you're eating clean. That's pretty much it. Okay, someone asked, have you got weaker on your cut? I actually haven't, which I'm really proud of. I haven't got, any, I haven't got weak, which I think is because I'm just taking this cut a lot slower. But I am doing pretty good, and I'm training pretty hard. Um, I'm trying to start logbooking again to help me to... Progressive over, I probably won't progressive overload since I'm getting deeper into my cut, but at least to just maintain my strength. But yeah, I'm training pretty hard and I'm doing pretty much the same weight. In some lifts, I'm actually stronger, but comparing to like last year, like maybe mid last year. Yeah, surprisingly, I haven't got weaker on my cut. Okay, someone asked, what really got you into lifting heavy besides your dad? Like what really got you motivated to make a change? This might be one of my favorite questions. Um, so, my dad, he didn't really motivate me to, ch uh, to, to lift. Like, he, he helped me a lot at the very start um, with my diet, especially. Because the training, there's really no secret, you know? I mean, with time, you just learn how to train. But it was really with the diet, because not everyone knows how to diet. And my dad always knew how to diet. He's been lifting, he's been doing bodybuilding for 20 years. So, he helped me a lot with the diet. He wasn't really, he wasn't really the, the reason that I started lifting, though. The main reason I started lifting was because I was just in a bad spot. Like with the pandemic, I was just all day, like home all day, just playing Fortnite. Pretty much just home all day playing Fortnite. And I would just eat. I wouldn't burn any any calories. Literally just home all day. Sleep, I'll wake up, play Fortnite. And then slowly with time, I started like hating that. I started hating that feeling of just knowing I'm doing nothing. And I always had this thing inside of me that I just knew I was meant to do something. Like I was just meant to just do something, you know, to just something something that's hard that's something i was meant to succeed in something to just be good at something i knew i always had that in me i started getting the idea of to lift just to, to just go to the gym so i started by it was it was in late december of 2020 i started going to my my apartment gym i started just just by doing cardio I started doing cardio 30 minutes every day and then from there i started doing some workouts like just quick workouts like 30 minute workouts i would do i forgot what i did what my split was but it was just quick workouts like a 30 minute workout and then i think i did cardio too with that um i did that for maybe like a week it was late december and then i got weak or i got sick i went to the mr olympia because my dad obviously he likes bodybuilding so we went to watch the mr Olymp the 2020 mr olympia and then i went there i watched Classic physique, open, stuff like that. And then I remember seeing Seabum for the first time. Never knew who he was before, ever. Like, I just, that he looked like some Russian guy with a mustache to me. I had no idea who the guy was. And, yeah, just seeing him, like, it just, it, 
it looked so cool to me. Like it just it just motivated me. It just inspired me. Just seeing him pose and then seeing like visibly seeing that like he was much better than everyone and he just looked like he knew what he was doing and that just that just inspired me. And then also seeing the open guys, some guys were just huge and like seeing especially Dexter Jackson, I used to like him a lot. I remember the 2020 Mr. Olympia was the last Olympia uh, he actually did. He retired on that Olympia. I remember and seeing him was super motivating. Yeah, so just overall just going to the Mr. Olympia was just super motivating. So I think that's what really got me to, so it wasn't right after that to where I actually started bodybuilding, but that was like, because of that is the reason I eventually switched over to bodybuilding because I always had bodybuilding in the back of my head after that. But yeah, and that was about, that was, that was late December, the Olympia while I was sick. And then as soon as I got better, I started going to the home gym again. And then in January, I started going back to school in person instead of online. And then they had a weightlifting class. So I started working out my first three months, first three, four months in the weightlifting class at my school. And from there, I went over to an actual gym. And that's when I started slowly switching over to bodybuilding. There's why I started lifting and how I got to life in bodybuilding. Okay, top three favorite brands that make gym machines. This is a really good question. I'm gonna try to remember them because I know I have my favorites. So, Prime is one of them. Prime, I love Prime. Prime might be first. Um, like, Prime, all the back, most of the back exercises, the back machines from Prime are just the best. Some, some pressing movements too I like. So I'm gonna say Prime. I'm gonna say Hoist. I like Hoist. I think they're I think they're very underrated. I know some people don't like them. They like kind of they like move. Use like a roller coaster, but I I like it a lot. It's just it's really smooth. I like the grip. It's usually like a thick grip, especially for pressing movements. So I'm gonna say Hoist. I'm gonna say Prime. And I'm gonna say Hammer Strength. So I'm gonna say Hoist, Prime, Hammer Strength. There's my three. Okay. Last question. Best question. Someone asked, are you on something? Obviously, I know what he's talking about. But, yeah, so, I'm not natty. I'm not natty. Um, I'm not going to say when I started, and I'm not going to say what I'm taking, because I don't want to inspire people to, to ever take it. Or, I don't want to push, I don't want to motivate anyone to ever take it. Uh, this is something I chose to do that just aligns with my goals. So, before I did my first cycle, I got my blood work done. I always had an idea that I just... I just never made progress. Like I was doing everything right. I was, my diet was on point. My training was really good. This is when I, this was after I started learning about uh, science, um, science-based lifting. And my, my training was good. I was training till failure. I was dieting good. And my progress was just never there. And then I didn't necessarily compare myself to people like that, but like I, I started like noticing how like people would make progress and like I, I wouldn't make that type of progress, especially like th those guys seeing, like seeing that they're my age and all that. And yeah, and I just knew I was doing everything right and I felt like there just needed to be more progress. And it wasn't more, of, it wasn't really so much that, but more of the fact that I had an idea that I probably didn't have a very high test. So I got my blood work done. It came back uh, like low 300s and that's not good, especially for the age when I started taking. Av average for my age is probably like 500 I think I'm pretty sure and then high is like 700 and I was at low 300 so so I knew what something I had to do especially because I want to compete I want to do professional bodybuilding and I want to compete early I don't want to be you know 40 years old bodybuilding so I want to start my career early and I want to end it early that's my goal so it's something I knew had to be done my dad did, was didn't have any part in me hopping on my mom didn't have any part in me hopping on they were both actually very angry that I wanted to hop on. And it's something, it took a lot of convincing. And then it got to a point where I was able to explain to my dad uh, why I want to do it and the fact that I really want to do this. And it's just something that had to be done. And then he eventually understood me. And then luckily with him having a lot of knowledge with gear and all that, he's been on it for like 20 years so he knows what he's talking about he's he studies it too he watches you know doctors and all that talking about gear so he knows what he's talking about he knows what he's doing so i'm lucky to have him and then you guys might say i'm small for being on gear you're right i'm i'm definitely small for being on gear and i'm not gonna 
say that it's because I'm just on low dose and I'm not on anything crazy, but it could also just be, you know, I don't think I've been on for long enough. I also haven't done a really good bulk since I've hopped on. There's that, I'm not natural. My goal is to compete professionally. And now for when I'm gonna compete, I honestly don't know, cause I'm not sure how I wanna go by it if I wanna just compete first with some sort of confidence that I can win it and also doing it for the experience or if I just wanna wait a little bit longer and making sure that I'm fully ready and like have a high chance of winning, you know? Cause I kinda just wanna, for when I start, cause the thing is when you compete, you put a lot of stress in your body with the prepping and all that. So I kinda just wanna pick up the momentum as soon as I start and hopefully win my first competition and then from there go up and then just hopefully go pro from there. So my goal, I'm gonna say maybe 22. 22, that might be that might be early, but we'll see. But you know, I plan on doing a really, a really, really long bulk. Good one. I wanna grow a lot in this next bulk this year. So we'll see what that where that takes me. Yeah, hopefully we, we do our first competition at twenty two. And hopefully one day we make it to the Olympia stage. That's it for this video. Push workout, full day of eating, Q&A. This might be a pretty long video. I'm gonna try to make it super long. I don't wanna bore you guys out, but for whoever stays till the end, I appreciate you. And as you guys saw for my last meal, meal five, it was barely even a meal. Uh, it's just protein powder, right? So it's just 30 grams of protein. And yeah, I really just have that just for the extra grams of protein and to kind of keep me a little bit filled up for the night to be able to sleep. Right now I feel pretty good. Um, I waited a decent amount of time. I waited like maybe three hours and a half um, for my last meal for the protein powder. And I got, I got really hungry like an hour, two hours after. And then I waited a little bit longer and then I didn't, I, and then I just kind of wasn't as hungry no more. So that was good. And then I was able to hold on for a little bit longer, and now I have my protein powder a little bit later than usual, which is good, and then if anything, it just helps me sleep. There's the full day of eating on a cut. Macros will probably be somewhere on the screen, and don't copy exactly what I do, at least not with the, the macros, you know. I'm doing 2,000 calories because it's what is working for me right now at the moment. I might have to increase, I might have to decrease with time we'll see but for now that's what is working for me and in terms of the actual food you know i don't for the most part there's really no secret you know there is certain things that certain people could digest better than others but for the most part you know i really just stick to the basics you know eggs is, is something that most people can eat rice and chicken that's like the go-to and then i put a little bit of cheese for the fats and then i do rice cakes always good to just have as a snack or you know like i do just an actual meal i do the i'll do the rice cakes with the um 20 grams of butter for some fats and then the protein powder with water you don't have to do protein powder with water you can do it with milk i personally if i when i'm cutting i don't like to use milk not even the bulk really but some people just i, I don't digest milk very good especially whole milk you know i do Sometimes when I want to, I'll do the unsweetened almond milk. That's like 30 calories per like 240 grams. But honestly, I'm finding the water with protein powder tastes better. So I'm just doing protein powder with water. Been doing it for the longest. So I like it. It tastes good. As long as the protein powder tastes good, it doesn't matter if it's with water. Oats can be a good um, option. So I was doing oats for a little while. So oats can be good. Even oats with water. I, I do that a lot. That's it for this video. Hope y'all enjoyed. I have to sleep. Alright, so that's it. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.